What is up guys and welcome back to another video of my F1 2016 mobile career mode. Today we have episode 24 at the Belgian Grand Prix in season 2. Be sure to go check out the last episode at the Hungaro Ring. That was a very, very eventful Grand Prix with a critical, critical retirement which of course triggered the safety car which you can see on screen which could potentially mean that the championship is now gone from a three-way fight to a two-way fight between myself and Lewis Hamilton. It was indeed Nico Rosberg who retired the race again. It always seems to be a another dose of bad luck there for the German so he'll be really really hoping to get back into the championship fight in today's Grand Prix and let's see if he can do it. Welcome to the circuit de Spa Francochon which is the location for today's race. The cars are out on the grid so let's join the action on the track. Welcome to the grid here at Spa and once again it's another front row start for me with Nico Rosberg on pole position. We're starting on the super soft tyre today, we're going back to the ordinary strategy of starting on the softest compound first but now we're going to rev up to five red lights for the Belgian Grand Prix round 9 of 15. This is crunch time for Rosberg as well and we are underway at Spa and it's a bit of a slow getaway off the line. Lewis Hamilton's already going to be ahead of me but thankfully it's only a short run into turn one. I'm going to try and almost get between the two Mercedes. Hamilton squeezes me and then Rosberg as I try to go up the middle of both of them but thankfully we're going to hold position for now my teammate Daniel Ricciardo. Almost trying to have a half look there as we go round the outside as we go up through Eau Rouge and Radi on the iconic corner and now into the slipstream of the two Mercedes. Mercedes. We've got Hamilton and Rosberg. We're going to tuck him behind them. But the AI have gone on the grass. And here comes Max Verstappen steaming through to take the lead of the Belgian Grand Prix at the end of the Kennel Straight. There we go. We've done it. It's been a fantastic start. We lost the position to Hamilton initially. But now we've managed to get past both the Mercedes. And now we are up into the lead now of the Belgian Grand Prix. And I'm just going to warn you guys all now in advance that this was pretty much how it stayed for a lot of the first stint. In fact, all of the first stint, it was just me driving around, which is why there's very little recording from the first stint. Because there's, as fun as it is to just watch somebody do laps of a circuit, you don't actually get sort of any entertainment for that. So now we're going all the way to the end of lap four. The tyre wear already kicking in for me. I've pulled about a five or six second lead on the two Mercedes. And now we are going to dive in for a pit stop. Yes, we're going very early here into the pit entry. But we've lost the front wing. <laughs> we've absolutely messed up the pit entry there. We've lost the front wing. Thankfully, it's happened there. So we don't have to go and do another lap. But my goodness, that was very, very scary. And we're going to fit the soft tyres. And this is the interesting part. Depending on the tyre wear, I'm not sure yet whether we're actually going to go to the end of the Grand Prix. Because if you'll remember, the race we did here last season in Season 1, when we were obviously in the Force India as Nico Hulkenberg, we experienced so much tyre wear at this circuit. And that's actually what I titled the video. So I don't know why. Just in the game, it seemed to be so high on tyre wear, which was... Very, very frustrating, but now we've got DRS on Kimi Raikkonen and the AI for some reason, the racing line going onto the grass. It doesn't matter, we're going to send it down the inside of the Iceman anyway. We've got the fresh tyres, we've got the grip, we've now regained P4 in this Grand Prix, and just ahead of me now is Sebastian Vettel and the two Mercedes, who, as you can see on the mini map, are not that far ahead. So we've got, we're going to have probably a sizable gap, because don't forget by going early, we're also pulling the undercut, but I will need to have much, much better pace than all of these guys in front of me if we are probably going to make this two stop work. By the time we get to the end of the lap I'm wondering if any of them are going to be responding to my undercut on the next lap and it doesn't look like they are. No there aren't so there's neither Mercedes nor the Ferrari Vettel in the pit lane and as you can see we've only got six seconds to go to catch up to the four time world champion so maybe we could catch them within the next couple of laps if they're not going to be making their pit stop. But as we cross the line to the end of the lap, there we go. That, I can confirm, it's the two Mercedes into the pit lane. So Rosberg and Hamilton have both gone on exactly the same lap. So 
They're both going for the exact same strategy, so that means Vettel now inherits the lead of the Grand Prix, and we are going to be in P2 to see if we can catch them up. I've just set the fastest lap of the Grand Prix a couple of laps ago, a 148.0, to show that once again that we are still the fastest person on track at the moment. Ridiculous as it sounds, but yes, I have decided we are going to go for that second pit stop, taking the pit entry much more carefully this time. And I think we're going to go for the super soft. No, we're not. I changed it at the very last minute for a set of soft tyres. I hope I don't regret that decision. However, it's just because I want very little tyre wear at the end of the race. And there we go. We've emerged in P3. And look at that. The leaders are just in front of me. But interestingly, Vettel has jumped the two Mercedes. So that is making for a very, very interesting end to this Belgian Grand Prix now. Because we've got potentially a four-way fight for victory on the cards. We're, we're in front of Lewis Hamilton. That's the crucial point here. So as it stands, even if it's by only three points, we are extending our championship lead over Lewis Hamilton. That's fine. If Rosberg overtakes Vettel, then... He is probably back in the championship because if I do the maths, he will only be 15 points behind me. And that's if he manages to overtake Vettel. You can see them up ahead going through Blanchemont. Rosberg has very much closed up to the back of the Ferrari. But equally, Sebastian Vettel can take Ferrari's first win of this entire career mode so far. If he can somehow keep the German behind. But no, it's not. It's happened immediately. Rosberg's overtaken Vettel. He looks like he must have gone a bit deep into the final chicane. But Sebastian Vettel has now lost the lead to Nico Rosberg and interestingly we've closed up massively through the final sector Lewis Hamilton's dropped off I don't know if that's because I'm much stronger than the AI in this part of the lap but are we now going to be maybe able to line up the German for a pass as we go up through Eau Rouge and Radion we may or may not be able to get DRS off the Ferrari it could be interesting to see whether we do because if we can then we should be able to close up to him really quickly yes we are within DRS range now interestingly Vettel and Rosberg have really pulled away up through Eau Rouge and Radion, but I think if we can go later on the brakes, as we're going to try and do here, there we go, look how much we've closed up to Vettel now, so unfortunately for the Ferrari man, it looks as if there's not going to be anything that's going to stop Nico Rosberg winning this race, and in doing so, potentially getting himself back in this championship, when he looked dead and buried after Hungary with that retirement, Nico Rosberg is doing exactly what he needs to do and looks like he might be able to pull a win out of the bag. But this is the middle sector. This is where Lewis Hamilton, now looking at the minimap, is catching up to me. And this is where Rosberg and Vettel are now pulling away from me. Just going to show you all a quick time lapse now, just so you can, well, effectively enjoy some laps of me driving around this iconic, iconic fan favourite circuit. And it just, the gap just seems to be umming and ahhing in different places. Like the, the final chicane is where I can really gain time on Vettel and Rosberg. But it's during sort of the first and sort of the end of the middle sector where the AI are really gaining time on me. And don't forget, this is only an 11 lap race because the circuit, the lap itself is so long. So, so we're already on to the last lap of the Grand Prix and, you know, we've not even had 10 minutes of video yet. So apologies for that, guys. But to be honest, it really hasn't been the most entertaining Grand Prix for you all apart from sort of the final couple of laps where we sort of potentially could have had a four-way fight for victory. But in the end... The man himself is going to get back in the championship fight today as we go a little bit deep into the bus stop. Nico Rosberg wins in Spa. Sebastian Vettel takes second and we will finish third to keep Lewis Hamilton off the podium and to extend our championship lead to five points. But Rosberg is now only 15 points behind and very much back in the fight. There's your results from Spa, guys. Rosberg wins ahead of Vettel, myself and Hamilton. Completing the points, we have Sainz, Raikkonen, Bottas, Alonso, Button and Massa. Daniel Ricciardo, only P18. I think if this was real life, he would probably already have had his contract terminated. Aside from winning in Monaco, he's only had one points finish in the whole season. And there you go, there's the championship standings. I lead Hamilton by just five points. But Rosberg, interestingly, is now only 15 behind. Harry Anto is the only man not to score yet, and Ricardo's all the way down in ninth. It's going to be too much for us to win the Constructors this year because Ricardo would have needed to start scoring. So I don't think we're going to catch Mercedes now. Apologies for the lack of entertainment in that Grand Prix. I still hope you guys enjoyed the video nonetheless. Anyway, if you did, please be sure to like, share and subscribe. Let's see if we can get to 400 subscribers. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and join my Discord server. Both links are in the description below. And I'll see you guys all next time for Germany. Goodbye.